This is simple whole roasted cauliflower. The oven is preheated to 425 F and I've got um, about a one and a half pound uh, cauliflower here. I'm gonna take off the stem, level it out, and take off any of the older leaves and also cut off any blemishes. Some of those tender leaves, just leave them there. You can eat them. Um, I've got a pot of water going to um, a boil and that's about one and a half inches in a large pot. Um, I'm gonna put it in for seven minutes and that's gonna be cooked um, at a low simmer for seven minutes. If you have a two pound cauliflower or something bigger, you're gonna go for nine minutes. Um, and then when you check it, you're just gonna put a fork in. It's not gonna, you don't want it mushy. You want it just to, you want it to have some resistance because it's still gonna cook for 30 minutes. So we're gonna put this on a lined elevated sheet uh, rack and you can use parchment, which is this, and that will go up to 450, but we're only going to 425 on this. Um, and you can use aluminum foil, you can use directly in the sheet pan, doesn't matter. Dry it off, wait 10 minutes, let it just cool a little bit. I'm showing you here that you can use olive oil, you can use vegetable oil. You just wanna get this brown. You can add more um, finishing olive oil, extra virgin olive oil later. The point is to get it brown and I'm trying to show you it doesn't really matter. Just use a high heat olive oil or a high heat, high heat vegetable oil. Salt and pepper it. You're putting it elevated so that it can um, roast and get all that air circulating. Put it in the oven for um, 30 minutes. If it's larger, you might wanna go 35 minutes. You're gonna look at your oven. Is it burning? You're gonna turn it down to 400. If it's not browning, you're gonna turn it up to 450. All ovens run different, differently. Um, that is basically it. It's gonna be fork tender there. Um, the stem might be a little bit more al dente. And then you're gonna to wanna to let it rest for 15 minutes before cutting it. Otherwise, it'll just fall apart. Um, this is basic. You could serve this with whatever you want. Today I'm going to serve this with lemon and rosemary. Um, if you wanted to cook it before with your favorite spices, like let's say curry or um, chili powder or something like that, you would put it on when you put in the olive oil before you bake it. Cut it up and there is, it's beautiful, it's simple, it's like a nice side dish. You can eat those tender little leaves and you can find this recipe at eatsimplefood.com. I also wanna say you can garnish it with some different, you know, um, smashed nuts or cheese at this point, uh, whatever you like.